Another really important thing to know about InDesign is just the idea of moving objects. This can be done rather simply just with your selection tool, which is also known as the black arrow tool. It will be the first one to the left up here inside of your InDesign setup and document. Now let's do a few things. First off, as you probably already know, if we left click and drag a frame, we can move that frame to a different location. Now there's a few things to know about this. First off, as I move, notice how this green line appears? And it's not going to be the only green line. These green lines appear every time that there is an alignment to the frame and to other objects or text inside the document. This is known as smart guides and they will easily help you be able to align your document a lot easier and more efficient. You'll also notice that we sometimes get pink lines. These pink lines show up when you're in the middle of a page telling you that it's centered. Now you also know that there's a few extra things we can do. First off, the frames have several little handles around them and you can end up scaling them up, scaling them down, rotating them, and doing all sorts of basically movement techniques. Now this is something that's a little bit strange that people don't seem to get at first. If you hover over the picture, you'll realize that there's this little circle in the middle. Kind of looks like a donut. If you hover over it, notice how it changes to a hand tool. This is actually called the content grabber. So what that does is when you left click on it and drag, you're actually moving the photo rather than moving the frame itself. So you're basically moving what's inside of this frame to a different location. Another thing though, if you want to end up manipulating the photo and not the frame, because you have to realize that the photo and the frame, although they share the same grouping and placement right now, they are totally individuals, meaning that they're by themselves in reality. So right now you'll notice that you have this blue outline around your frame here that's basically telling you you can manipulate the frame. But if you double click over the image, you'll realize that the frame now turns a reddish color. And that actually changes, or actually it's more of a gold color, sorry about that. But that changes what you're manipulating. So now we're manipulating what the photo looks like and not the frame. To get back to manipulating the frame, just double click again and I'll take you right back. So for the most part, moving objects is rather similar to several other Adobe programs. There are just a few things here and there with InDesign that you just want to be weary of. But other than that, most of the movement tools are the same. As long as you're using selection, you can literally just take anything anywhere. And then you can always resize it later or rotate it. And then you can also use your tools up here that we learned earlier to fit the content proportionally or to fill the frame proportionally.